Hey everyone, Ben here. Buy it, break it, fix it. All right. So I've had a couple uh, comments about some former videos and me not maybe posting part links or whatever. So um, cut me some slack. I don't know. For those of you that don't know, I my whole channel has been based off my phone thus far. So internet is supposed to be going in, but I live down a long dirt road, so we have not had internet. We just have it on our phone. So internet's supposed to be going in. So after internet goes in, I'll be able to set up links and everything. So that's what happened. It was the wrong link for a part that I put on my TRX4. So in this video, we're gonna cover everything I've done to the TRX4 thus far. So stay tuned. I'll show you everything. TRX4. As you know, I've done a couple things to it. Not much, but uh, I'm going to show you everything I've done to it. I I don't buy anything online yet. So, the order I bought this stuff would be my Savox servo first. Okay. Uh, the servo went out on me, as we know. And that's what I put on it. It's a Savox S-A-V-S-A. One two eight three SG. So and that was just my price. I bought I bought I bought everything at uh, Hobby Hanger thus far. I bought everything there. So all right. So there was that, and then the winch. The winch was the questioning thing. So the winch is the RC four wheel drive. It's the Warren one ten wireless receiver. Oh, this is the controller. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the winch. See if we can get this right. All right, RC four wheel drive, one tenth worn, one tenth worn, nine point five CTI winch. Uh, part number Z dash S one zero nine. Okay, so that was that. This is what it came in. This is the thing underneath here. So, all right. So servo. Then we bought the winch, and then I bought a. Uh, monster swivel hook for it, the winch. So that was that. It's an RC four wheel drive, part number ZS1248. Like I said, if you want, write these down because I'm, I'm not putting links in there. I mean, cut me a little bit of slack. I'm not trying to be mean. I mean, it's just hard to remember everything that's on my clipboard on my phone to do all this. So once I have a computer, it'll be a little bit different if I can... You know, just have a better way of working uh, all my footage and all that. So, ZS1248, that is the RC four wheel drive monster swivel hook black. That's this right there. Okay. Okay, then from there we got the toe shackles, orange toe shackles. Part number Z S1237. So, RC4 drive, Z-S1237, King Kong Toe Shackle Orange. That's those. I just put those on the front. They've been on the rear so far. They've been on here. And they are pretty scraped up, as you can see. Which is great, because it means I'm crawling. Alright, so there's the toe shackles, the hook. I think before that I did my, oh, when I did my Savox servo, I did a servo horn, and that's this. I did. I decided to go with this. It's a uh, Vanquish product. So clamping servo horn for the 25 tooth spine. Uh, part number VPS zero two four one zero. VPS 02410. Sorry, I'm just trying to repeat all the numbers. All right, and then my incision wheels. The incision method 1.9s. Division of Vanquish. And those are the incision method 1.9 MR307 black whatever anno. And it's a, I don't think that's a part number. I don't know what that is there. 
IRC0090. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a part number, but incision method 1.9. M. I'm pretty sure it's the MOR307 black. That's what you want. And then I got the high racks with those, but the high racks went with the uh, giveaway truck. So now I'm running these BF Goodrich Crawler TAKX 1.9 G8 Rock Terrain tires, front or rear. Part number 10136-14. Like I said, no links in the description. I'm so sorry. Just please understand. It's just so hard. So BF Goodrich Crawler TAKX 1.9 G8 Rock Terrain Truck Tires Front and Rear. So that's those. And then last but not least, actually there's a couple other things, but I don't know where the uh, stuff is for it. Here's the winch rope. I just bought that. That's the stuff here. I haven't put it on yet, I just have it hanging. I've not even used my winch. So, synthetic winch rope. Now, the go with the winch is the wireless controller. RC four wheel drive, one tenth winch. Is this the winch again? Oh my goodness, I'll get it. Here we go. Winch controller. One tenth wireless remote receiver winch controller set. Part number Z-S1092. So that's the wireless controller and all that, and that is right here. That's the controller. I just uh, double-sided it right here. And I currently, I don't know where my receiver is. It's floating around here somewhere. Here it is. That's the receiver that it hooks to. And this W is winch positive, winch negative, and then this is battery negative, battery positive. So pretty simple. All right, I'm going to do a quick video. We're going to do something real quick. I'm going to take this outside. I got another piece done. We're going to see how it is. I need to do just a little bit here and put some feet on the bottom so it's a little stable. And uh, we're going to take this and this out to the, to the rock pile, the fire pit crawling area. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, just real quick. Um, this plate right here came with the winch. This was the plate that you're supposed to mount up here underneath the winch. And you know, I might need it. You see how the winch is? It's not attached in the front, but I'm, I want a metal bumper. So I just wanted to turn the camera on real quick so I can show you. This part right here in the bumper, I flipped. You take the bumper out, you take these two screws out, take the bumper out, and then you take this, and there's two screws here, down there. And then there's two on the other side on the frame and you just flip it and that helps you gives you some clearance now when i did that because of the body sitting lower i had to cut my body out right here to here oops right there so and it fits down nicely so and just in case you're curious there's my lights for the proline light bar i don't have the package for it just like I don't have the package for the recovery strap from Perline. All right, hold on. I'll get the crawler course set up. It's to dark out, so we're gonna try to get this going. So maybe one full run. If you've ever crawled before on stuff like this, you'll know you pretty much have to be on it or near it to watch what it's doing. I am full lock dips. I have not tried this outside yet, first time. That went well. Sorry about the helicopter. Nothing I can do about it. Let me adjust the camera. Alright, let's see what we can do from here. I'm just going to come up over these rocks and try to go across these landscaping ties or borders. Servo is just so weak compared to this Savox. I know 
know some people don't like to hear that, but it is what it is. It's just my opinion. All right, let's try a do-over. <laughs> I had to rearrange that big rock over there because I moved some stuff around. I, I, the BF Goodrich, they do good. You know, like I said, I've, I've never put down the BF Goodrich when I was doing the crawler stuff or, uh, you know, my videos. All right, I'll get you a video of this. Let me get you looks like. Like I said, all lock this. This is a little challenging right here. You kind of have to go pretty slow to let those tires bite. Do that or nail it full force, one or the other. They will go. I have done it. Dan has done it. Oh, you know, I have adjusted this. I've adjusted the um, angle. I forgot to tell everybody. I'm so sorry. But I, I brought the bridge down a little bit, which changed the angle. And you'll see, I go up over it much easier now. Sorry, I had to give it a little excess spin. But you watch, it'll go right up over now. Well, I can't make it too easy. There we go. Now we're up on the bridge. It goes right over the other side. No problemos. Alright. Let me get you adjusted. We're going to come up to the left. Let's see what it does over here. I just set this up. I have not tried to come up it yet. That's pretty good. It's a nice little crawl. Don't be mad at me, Dan. I had to move it. It was going into the fire pit for no reason. Now I figure I can come up here and get on this. Hopefully I don't fall into the fire pit. Nice little view of the back tire over there. Hanging off. You know, these guys drive with one hand. <laughs> Kudos. I've tried it. It's just not... I don't know. I'm not coordinated. All right. We'll do the uh, teeter-totter one more time. All right, lock this. I'm gonna try to stay over here by the camera and just watch this. I should be able to do it. I've had to put some blocks on there. I'll add more as we go, it's just too easy. I had to give it some kind of challenge. Set up again. Let's see what kind of angle we can get here. Both the front and rear diff locked. Grab it onto the camera. We try to re there we go. Let's see what I can do with this. I think I'm getting a halfway decent little crawler course here, everybody. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let me show you what I've been doing here. Well, not what I've been doing, because I literally have filmed everything I've done. Come up the teeter totter up here. Boom. Boop, fall to the ground, come over here, up on the rocks, over on these landscape, whatever they are, and then up here, bloom, 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 across the bridge, bloom, 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 down, bloom, 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 and then you come around here, bing, 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 come up here, 
boom, 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 boom. Across here, boom, boom, boom. Back down here, boom, boom, boom. And back around. So, now I need something for here. Okay? And I need something for over here. So, those will be my two next obstacles. So, I appreciate everybody watching. I didn't want to make it too long of a film because I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. And I know I've showed you like on the live and all that, but I wanted to show you how I was going to try to set it up. I'll probably more than likely be done with all this stuff over here by the picnic table because I'm going to be getting rid of that and cleaning up this area a little bit. And um, the crawler course might end up moving somewhere else on the property to, so it's not in my front yard. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And those who are subscribed, thank you for all your support. Thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for being part of the live. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for doing everything. I appreciate it. And just like I tell you guys in the comments, stay positive, stay motivated. I wouldn't even be doing any of this without you guys. I wouldn't. I would have put up one video and it would have been nothing and I would have just stopped. So I appreciate everybody watching. I hope all the information in the uh, beginning helped with all the part numbers and all that. I hope... Uh, I hope I've made everybody happy. <laughs> so some of the comments motivated me to uh, go ahead and make this video tonight. So, all right, everybody have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Whatever it may be for you. Thanks for watching. Ben.